Hey, welcome back to Fire and Water Cooking. I'm Darren, of course, and today uh, it was pointed out to me uh, a couple, a few days back on my Facebook uh, group that there's not very many videos of people cooking whole picanha or uh, top sirloin cap roasts whole and cutting them up on YouTube. And I looked at the others, very, very few. So I'm going to do that today, guys. We're going to take this picanha roast. We're going to cook this in the sous vide for a good amount of time. Then we're going to sear it up as a whole roast. I'll be right back. Sous vide picanha slash top sirloin cap roast whole. I'll be back. Smoking, grilling, getting hot and hotter. Sous vide and chilling from fire and water. All right, guys, my mistake. These ones were actually choice that I got. I did, um, one time I did buy the select pack that has like four in it, but this time I decided to just go ahead and get the choice ones. Uh, they were a little bit more expensive, but not, not really uh, for Costco. They're not very expensive. They're maybe $3.99 a pound at the Costco um, business center. So they're not very big. So it's probably, you know, two and a half, three pounds max. And that's with all the fat cap on it. Um, what I'm gonna do for this cook, I'm not really gonna take a lot of the fat off. I'm actually just gonna leave most of this fat on, I'm not even gonna trim it. I'm just gonna leave it the way it is. Um, you can do whatever you want. Sometimes I'll go ahead and trim a lot of this off, especially the big thick parts. But this is actually pretty thin already. So I'm just going to leave it the way it is. As you can see, there's not a lot of marbling in this, even for choice. But really simple cook, guys. You just leave it whole, just like this. You know, like I said, this is a picanha, top sirloin cap. And that's how we're going to leave it. Uh, I do have my bag here. We are going to put it in the sous vide bath for about eight hours. Um, you can do seven, you can do six. It's up to you. The longer it goes, you're gonna, the more tender it's gonna be when you're done. We're gonna do 134 degrees, which is right at medium rare. I shoot it there on the higher end of medium rare because my wife likes hers a little bit more done. And this will give me a chance to make hers a little bit more done in these thinner parts of the picanha. So that's one of the cool things about cooking it whole as a roast and then searing it up. You can actually get these smaller or thinner parts a little bit more um, well done if you want to if you got somebody that wants it more on the medium side or medium well but uh, pretty much I'm going to take my fire and water cooking all-purpose black garlic rub and that's what we're going to put on it for the initial sous vide cook just get a nice even coat on it guys when we take it out of the bath get it ready to uh, sear up we're going to use my um, fire and water cooking black garlic and coffee seasoning to kind of finish it up. The coffee is going to give it a nice little peppery kick. Of course, with the uh, salt and black garlic as well, a little bit of cayenne in it. So that's it. We're not going to put a whole ton on there, guys, just because we don't need to. This is going to cook eight hours. It's going to brine while it's in there gonna do a, a wet brine while it's cooking in the sous vide bath for that long and then we're gonna take it out sear it up and put it in the bag I'll come back show you what we're gonna do put it in the uh, sous vide bath I'll be back all right guys I'm gonna go ahead and set this right at a 134 and then we're gonna do seven hours on this one it's gonna give us plenty of time to get it all cooked all the way through and get it nice and tender I'll be back all right guys it's been right at eight hours and I've got my setup here. So just like when we cook a steak, guys, when we cook a roast, we want to sear it. We're going to make sure we dry it off. It's still here in the bag. There's still moisture in the bag. It's still kind of wet. I'm going to sear it on my sear box on the Monument gas grill. So before I get this ready to go, let's go over there and set up the uh, sear box on the gas grill. It's going to be really quick and easy. You can do it any way you want. You can sear it with a torch. You can sear it over charcoal. You can sear it on a hot pellet grill any way you want to do it. I'm going to do it over gas today. I'll be right back. 
All right, guys, so there you go. It's uh, the Monument Gas Grill. It's ready to go. I love this little sear box on the Monument. It's uh, really convenient when I want to just sear up some steaks without having to start any charcoal or fire up the pellet grill. It takes me about four or five minutes to get those uh, grates heated up. And uh, all right, I'm going to go finish off, show you how we're going to finish off the uh, picanha roast before we sear it up. I'll be right back. Hey guys, let's get in here a little closer while that's heating up. Just open up my bag. Try not to get the purge juices anywhere. Just gonna take this and lay it right on the uh, paper towel. Gonna get a little bit more paper towel here and just pat this as dry as possible. When you dry it off, it makes it so the Maillard reaction um, is a little better. You're not trying to uh, you're not producing steam before you're heating up the meat, which you would do if there was a lot of moisture on it. So just pat it off as dry as you can. And then normally what I do, guys, I'll take a little uh, high heat spray oil on each side. Let me get my tongs. I'm going to put my black garlic and coffee seasoning on. Don't have to put a ton on, guys. Just put a little bit. Like I said, we're just adding this to get that little coffee kick. It's going to be a little bit peppery. Flip it over. Do the same thing. Put a little oil. Just helps get a nice crisp on there. Same thing. Just put a little bit of the black garlic and coffee with all those herbs and spices that's it not a ton it's ready to go we'll be back in a minute when it's done searing I'll take you over to the sear box unlike steaks guys I don't uh, ice bath this before I start searing I'm actually going to sear it fat side down just until the uh, fat starts to render and flaring up and I'm going to turn it over. I don't want this uh, flame to get too out of, out of hand and with that big fat cap on there, I don't want it to go crazy with the flare ups. So just flip it like every 30 seconds until you get a nice overall char on it, just like this here. Alright guys, so here we go. Nice crust, this is the fatty side, of course. Like I said, Black garlic and coffee. Um, so usually the the grain's going to be running this way. So I'm going to go ahead and just cut a slice right here, so you guys can see. Nice and medium rare, nice fat cap on there, and that's how you slice it up, guys. Just slice it up nice and thin, just like that. Super easy. I don't know why people haven't done this or have videos on this before, but it's really easy to do a roast like this. Super new, super results, nice and juicy. Sous vide, we'll tenderize it. Mm. Don't even know it's sirloin, guys. It's so tender, it's like a filet. And the seasoning's perfect. Thanks for watching. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram. Check out Fire and Water Cooking Edible Creations. Also check out Fire and Water Travel Services, guys. We've got a travel agency now where we specialize in food and travel. Food and travel goes together like peas and carrots. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Picanha Roast. Love it.